bones and this is the complete horror collection shelf DS um, pretty much I think I got uh, maybe uh, half of another shelf after this but gladly I'm almost done but let's do this first up we have stay uh, Naomi Watts Owen McGregor Ryan Gosling you can't stay between the living and the dead never seen it stay alive actually I have seen this this is with a uh, Malcolm in the middle uh, Munoz and some other people and it's about uh, I think it's a game like the, the games people that are playing the game or dying or it's killing people or um but I mean it's been a while since I've seen it but uh I don't know it's okay um this one's still sealed The Stranger Eli Roth presents I think this is a vampire movie but I never watched it Strange Land now this is a uh, D. Snyder, his take on horror. This is actually pretty old school. I mean, it's not new. And uh, he plays like a crazy killer that's all into like uh, self mutilation. Uh, I think this is like the late 90s, like 98 or something like that. Um, but it's pretty interesting, pretty crazy. I think his name's uh, Captain Howdy. That's what he calls himself, the the killer that D. Snyder plays. Um, have this strangers with a slip. Uh, I think they released a Blu-ray uh, Screen Factory, but uh, I haven't even seen the second part of this, which is uh, Pray for Night or something like that. But uh, it's okay. I mean, it's pretty good. I think a lot more people like it than I do. But uh. I don't like that there's no finality to like, you know, the killers never get there. That they just keep going to the next place. Eh, I guess it's all right. Straight jacket. Moon Jones. Um, I think this is like a haunted uh, uh, mental asylum or something like that. I've never seen it, but I think I heard about it. Stakeland. Two disc special edition. Uh, this is a vampire movie. I've heard of this, but I've never watched it. But there's a uh, Danielle Harris, and uh, I do remember people talking about this. I think there's even a part two, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I've never watched it. Stigmata. You don't hear a lot of people talk about this one anymore. Uh, Patricia Arquette, Gabriel Byrne. Like a possession movie. Uh, this is notorious for um, in the trailer. She like they show a part where she's like all possessed, and then she goes like uh, like a demon voice. But when you see the movie, it's just her regular voice. So I guess they did that like a movie clickbait. I guess Stillwater haunted by his past. Never seen it. Check it out. Now this I have seen. Star of Echoes. The Artisan release. It still has the insert in there. Uh, Kevin Bacon. Um, some other people. But uh, this is a really good uh, ghost story. Um, has some crazy uh, inventive shots that are in this movie. And uh, the little kids like a good like a real good actor. And uh, there's some creepy stuff in here. You've never seen it. And I do have the Blu-ray. Uh, it's just an awesome movie. I've seen it a, a lot of times. So it's pretty good. 
I'm not going to spoil it because that one's good. Uh, in my last haul, I picked up this uh, Arrow, the stuff. Um, seen it before. Haven't watched this Arrow release, but I will. About a uh, crazy foam that um, you eat it and it starts taking over your body. And uh, directed by um, Larry Cohen. Um, it's pretty good. Subject two, like a kind of weird Frankenstein tale, like set where uh, this guy's out in the boonies doing experiments on dead bodies. Submerged with the slit. Uh, one of the uh, released from Screen Factory. Never seen it. Subspecies, the Blu-ray 20th anniversary edition. I mean that <laughs> that vampire like really freaks me out. Like when I was little, I would see it, and now I'd have flashbacks of the original Nosferatu, like the fingernails. Um, but I don't really know these movies that good. But uh, I'd have seen them like when we would rent movies and on Fridays and eat water burger and popcorn, and I would watch the movies. But sometimes I didn't really pay attention. But um, we did rent them. Bloodstone subspecies 2. I think this is from like a pack, pack collection and I just found it on its own. But I've never seen part 2. I think people have said it's pretty good. Uh, Summer's Moon. Uh, killer uh, team movie. Uh, Suspect Zero. Very good um, serial killer movie. I have my serial killer movies like mixed in here, but I also have a whole section. See when I get those movies out. This is an awesome movie. I had it on VHS forever and I would always watch it. Um, Dennis Quaid, Danny Glover, uh, Jared Leto, Switchback, a uh, serial killer movie. Um, I found this DVD and then I, I never had to use the, the VHS anymore. But uh, I've seen this movie hundreds of times. Awesome movie. Uh, Tail Stain. Picked this up recently. Some crazy scorpions. Uh, Taking Lives. Another like serial killer movie with like a weird twist. Angelina Jolie. Topless. Ethan Hawke's in there. Uh, Russell McCahey's Tale of the Mummy. I heard someone talking about this, so then I picked it up because I ran across it, but i never seen it. The classic Tales from the Hood. Of course, this got a Screen Factory release that I haven't come across, but I might pick it up. It still has the old disc in there. You can see the skull. I had this for a long time. I used to watch it when this was like out of print. Um pretty good I think my favorite is the little uh, slave dolls uh, it's an anthology um, talisman I picked this up recently too it's a full moon movie but I've never seen it the tall man with just Beal uh, I did watch this once like real late in the night but there's nothing to it it's a Somebody's kidnapping little kids and it's just a regular person. Um, Tamara or Tamara, whichever way you want to say it. I guess Tamara. Um, a girl killer. Never seen it. I seen it in somebody else's collection. Targets, uh, Boris Karloff movie. Picked it up recently never seen it now this starts off my tartan asian extreme and actually my boy uh west tex horror uh i saw him picking these up so then i started looking for them and uh, i did pick pick some up not too many but i do have uh, a couple and uh actually this one's pretty cool the face it's kind of like uh the grudge um marabito Another one. 
I have these on their tartan so I could find them. And then spider forests with a slip. Tartan Asian screen. Pretty cool. This is a rare movie, Ted Bundy. I mean, this version. Uh, it's pretty brutal. This one really like shows a lot of uh, how he would trick the girls and hit them in the head with a crowbar. And the rape scenes and stuff are pretty brutal. Teenage Caveman. Um, it's still sealed. It has this actor that I recognize. Oh, but I've never seen this. But I think uh, Cecil from Good Bad Flicks did a review of it. Now, of course, I recently picked this up. Terrifier. They told me it was horrible. Like straight up horror and, and I, it's pretty good i seen parts of it so i need to w sit down and watch it good but that guy heart the clown's a kooky terror of frankenstein oh, never seen this one but every time i come across a frankenstein movie i usually pick it up um terror train with the slip Screen Factory, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. I've never seen this as a little kid, and I didn't, I couldn't understand like the different killers, and I didn't understand that it was the same guy just wearing different costumes. And then when he dies at the end, I, I like I didn't understand it. I thought he just like took a dive into the river, but but no, he like really gets killed. So it's pretty crazy. I like that movie. It's cool. It has uh, that magician in it. Uh, Terror Vision. And the Video Dead. Double feature Screen Factory. I never really watched those that much. I think I have that. The Terror Train, I ordered it. But the Terror Vision one, I just found it. Like at a pawn shop. Oh, okay. So the reason I have this is because it's Terror at London Bridge. And this is like an old school 80s uh, television movie about um, Jack the Ripper and how they moved the London Bridge from uh, England to uh, Arizona, uh, brick by brick, stone by stone. And it has to do with, uh, he fell off the bridge in 1888 and then it's 1988 and a girl drops blood on the stone and it resurrects uh, Jack the Ripper spirit. It's actually pretty creepy and I've seen it lots of times. I used to have the VHS but I lost it and then I I picked this up a while back. It's not like great great but to me it is because I grew up watching it. So has David Hasselhoff. Then we got They Crawl. Crazy Bug movie. Thirteen Chow. This one's all right. It's about uh, the Jersey Devil, but it's pretty uh, weird. Like it's its own take on it, and uh, it has a uh, Robert Goulet, which is or now what's his name? Um, Robert Gu Robert Guillaume Guillaume Robert Guillaume. Yeah, he's like a black actor. There he is right there. But um, there's one shot in this that's crazy where. He's like in the mental ward in, in a cell and the creature, there's like a pool, a spider comes in and then there's a pool of blood and the creature just starts like, like coming out of the pool of blood. It's like crazy. I should have put a clip of it, but oh well. All right, keep it going. The original 13 ghosts. I don't know much about that one. The remake, snapback. Um, this one has Shannon Elizabeth and uh, Shaggy and uh, what is it? Uh, Matthew Leonard and F. Murray Abraham, who is uh, from here, from El Paso, Texas. He's a Academy Award winning actor. Uh, it comes out in Mozart, which I love. I grew up on that movie. Um, uh, this one's okay. This is like the first time when they started using like those 
all those effects on the ghosts and all that and like their movements were all shaky and it was pretty cool uh the 13th floor i don't know much about this one but I, i've seen people have it in their collection but uh I've never watched it. I just know it has like time travel in it. Uh, 30 Days of Night. Josh Hartnett's last good movie. Um, vampire movie where the, they're stuck in the... Where it doesn't... The sun never comes out for the whole month. Uh, this is the part two, Dark Days. I've never seen this one. I've seen this one. I've never seen this one. Uh, the Thompsons. Another vampire movie from Macabre. Time After Time, awesome uh, Jack the Ripper movie. Snapback. I remember buying this. I, I bought this so long ago that at Goodwill, the DVDs were still five bucks. And I remember I found this and I just like watched it over and over again with uh, Malcolm McDowell. Uh, that guy that does a lot of uh, voices, uh, David Warner and the young uh, Mary Steenburgen. Uh, about uh, that inventor, H.G. Wells, and he travels through time chasing Jack the Ripper. Pretty cool. Old school. Uh, time of the Wolf. This is an apocalyptic movie made by this company, Palm. Um... You don't, they never explain what happened, but the family's trying to get from one part to another and survive. To Catch a Killer, I recently picked this up. It's a Brian Dennehy movie about John Wayne Gacy. Uh, Toolbox Murders. Directed by Toby Hooper. Never seen it, but I always see it in people's collections. Uh, Tooth Fairy. Um, Anchor Bay release. Never seen it. Tony, a uh, pretty cool serial killer movie. He just sits around and watches uh, action VHSs all day long and kills people. It's blinding, mate. Tower of Blood. Never seen it. And then the last movies for this shelf will be a classic town the dreaded sundown this was my original like uh, old school dvd that i bought it was pretty cool um this is the one i would always watch and then you have um the shout factory i mean scream factory release with the uh, evictor or something yeah the evictor but this is an awesome movie about the Texarkana Moonlight Murder, who was never captured. Uh, true story. Uh, then this is the remake. The Slip. Uh, the remake was not that good, but it does have Joshua Leonard from Bear Witch Project. And here's the Blu-ray. So anyways, guys, that's it for part one. I'll be back with part two.